Chatty Bobby, Scream Factory Maniac, Olympody. What's up, everybody? We back for another motherfucking Scream Factory and such horror Blu-ray mail day. Get a little swiggity dude out of this water in a little while. Uh. Yeah. We're back. I mean, this, the ridiculousness continues. I mean, we're sitting at, let's see what we got popping off here. We got one. That's from Best Buy. We got uh, one, eBay. eBay, record head. That's eBay. Best Buy. Oh, God. eBay. Best Buy. <laughs> yes, Satan. We're back. We're just ready to get this shit going. Okay. Uh, thank y'all so much for the continued support. We're coming up. I, I keep saying I'm going to do a Scream Factory collection video, and I keep fucking ordering Scream Factory. So we're going to put this off probably another week or two on the complete collection video because I got another order I'll probably do this weekend, and I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chill. You know, I'm, I'm not gonna chill. <laughs> If anybody's watched my channel, when have I ever chilled on anything? <laughs> okay, let's go. We're going to start it off with this one. This big old motherfucker. I kind of have an idea what this is, but I'm not for sure, for sure. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. I think. What is this? Is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, just the most gangstrosity you've ever seen in your life. And we're going to go ahead and just let this be known right now. This is the most gangster pop, pop I have. I have Freddy, Jason, Michael Myers, wrestling ones, Cousin Eddie. And there's not one more gangster than this one I'm about to show. And that is Bob Ross with the motherfucking paintbrush. You understand me? He's going to keep, he's going to restore order in that whole situation over there. You know, when, 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 when Freddy, Jason, and Michael are on, you know, we're trying to do a, a, a six man tag match against Cousin Eddie and the Wet Bandits. Bob Ross is going to be there for the motherfucking refereeing. You hear me? Look at him. Just happy trees, just happy accidents. I wanted the one with the raccoon or the squirrel or whatever it was, but it sold out. I got this off Best Buy with my discount for $5, man. So I pretty much get half off of Funko Pops. And this this Funko is just classic shit. You know what I'm saying? You want to sell my? 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 Okay. Bob Ross, motherfucker. We're going to let him just chill right here. Keep an eye on everything. All right, Bobby? Bob's going to keep an eye on Chatty Bobby. You hear me? What's that? No, I've smoked already this morning. <sighs> Just kidding. Next up, what's that? Is that record head from eBay? Boy, I don't give a shit who he is. Anybody killer. ABK, baby. <laughs> okay. What we got? Oh, righty. I got this one for... $10,000, I think. Not really. Brand new sealed. Again, this guy, I'm guessing, just gets screeners and uses them and just sells them. That is Stigmata. Uh, I'm never, I've never seen this all the way through. Um, this is from 1999. It's got uh, audio commentary with the director, Rupert Wainwright. Incredible but true. Stigmata marked for life. 45-minute featurette. Divine Rights, the story of Stigmata, 26 minutes. Music video, Identify by Natalie Imbruglia. I forgot she existed. Deleted scenes, alternate ending theatrical trailer. So, looks like a cool movie. I, I've seen it. I had it a couple years ago, and I watched a little bit of it. I didn't finish it. Um, but, yeah, Stigmata. What else we got cracking off? This one here is, we're not going to, we'll open the eBay ones first. This is from Record Head, too. This is the same guy. He's got good deals. I'm assuming all of his screen factory stuff is screeners. He packaged Oh, this is two. This is because it's two of them. Okay. So, yeah. What oh, we got cracking off? <laughs> My WWE Network just chilling in the background. What's that say? Ride along. I don't fucking watch Ride Along. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, first and foremost, we've got The Hallow. Really, really like this movie. Good creature feature. It actually came with the slip. This is only 10 bucks with the slip. Still sealed. Slips in perfect condition, looks like. If that's supposed to be on it, I don't even know if it is. Who cares? It's fine. Um, 
But yeah, that alternate art works really cool. This movie's on Netflix. It used to be. I don't know if it still is. Super, super creepy, man. Surviving the Fairy Tale, Making of the Hallow, Director's Storyboards, The Book of Invasions, Original Illustrations, Director's Sketchbook, um, Original Concept Sketches. This is from 2015. This is a Scream Factory IFC Midnight Collabo. Really glad I was able to find this. I almost bought it off Best Buy, but it came with the slip. Brand new seal for 11 bucks. So that's the Hallow. Definitely suggest this one if you like creature features. And it's on Netflix, like I said, so you can check it out on there. And next up, I got another two-pack um, from the same guy. That's The Curse and The Curse 2. The Bite. The Bite. Sorry. Curse one I liked. I know Jordan and Tony didn't like it that much. I liked that one. Second one I haven't finished. It's just it's nothing to do with the first one. It's just about a snake. 87s when the first one came out. 89s when the second one came out. Um, this one was like 14 bucks. I think brand new sealed. And it's just got the whole punch through it. So I'm guessing dude's just selling his screeners. Which is fine with me because I get them for cheaper deals. So shout out to that. And next up we've got three more. We've got three. No, no, no. Sorry. Here we go. This is from eBay too. Damn it! This is from. Oh, blow it out of here! Blow it out of here! Forget it! <laughs> Forget it! Okay, enough, Chad. Stop. That's simply just for Tony and Jordan because it's ridiculous. All righty, now. A lot of people didn't like this first one. I didn't like the first one a lot, but I, I really liked the second one, man. And I had to get it again. And it's never go, it's not going to go anywhere. And that is Ghoulies and Ghoulies 2. Now, Ghoulies 1 is pretty garbage. I'm not going to lie. Um, the second one's the one I like a lot. And I never even got to see the second one on Blu-ray. Uh, 85 was Ghoulies 1. 80, uh, 87 was Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies 1's got the commentary with the director. Interviews with the executive producer um, and cast and a trailer. And the second one's got the new interviews with the executive producer, actress Carrie Rimson, and special effects artist Gino Crognell. Deleted scenes and theatrical trailer. So that's Ghoulies 1 and 2, double feature. And next we got Best Buy. We've got two more packages from Best Buy. Whammy, you're done. Hopefully there ain't no slip in there. I know that just shoots the nerves of a people. So we're going to find out what this shit is. Oh, it's a Blu-ray. What is it? Oh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this one. <laughs> That's how you know you're doing too much when you order so much shit that you forgot what you got. Another double feature. We've got Species 3 and Species The Awakening double feature. This was like 18 bucks, I think, with my discount. Um... Let's see. 2004 was Species 3 and 2007 was Species The Awakening. Um, Species 3 has the auto, uh, auto, auto commentary, guys. Audio commentary with the director Brad Turner and writer Ben Ripley. Um, Alien Odyssey of Evolution at Featurette. Alien Odyssey Species DNA Featurette. Alien Odyssey Technology Featurette. Intelligent Life Forms Featurette. Tons of features on that third one. On The Awakening, you got Alien Awakenings, the interview with the director, Nick Lyon, Miranda's Memories, an interview with actress Hel Helena Matson. So, look for, I'm sure these are probably the weaker ones, because I like, I like the first one a lot. Two, I haven't watched, I've got it, but I haven't watched it, so I wanted to go ahead and get them all. So now I've got all the species that Scream Factory's put out there. And we're going to save this one for last, because I'm excited about it. I'm not going to even use the safety knife, because there is a... Uh, Two, two slip covers in here. So I'm just going to chill out. These were some that I pre ordered. And they would have been here yesterday, but uh, yesterday was Labor Day. By the way, new album, Chad Arms, Baker's Dozen Volume 2, on all digital markets as of yesterday. Go ahead and get you a copy of that motherfucker. So, next, so here we go. Rounding out today's haul, we've got Hereditary. On 4K, it just released today. My number one movie this year. I've seen 69, and I've seen 70 movies in 2018. This is my favorite. I've watched it twice. I saw it with Ivy. He hated it. I saw it with Jordan and Tony. They really liked it. Um, no, I'm not going to give the code away. The code's already sold, so before y'all ask. Um, I'm super excited. It's got a 4K release, man. 
Um, it's got Curse, The True Nature of Hereditary, Deleted Scenes, Evil in Miniature, Photo Gallery. So hopefully that Cursed, True Nature of Hereditary is somewhat, you know, at least 10 minutes long. I'd like to watch that. Um, I just fucking love this movie, man. And I hated The Witch, and it's the same director. But I love this movie, man. It's fucking awesome. Two hours and two minutes. I don't know if it's any different. But uh, if you haven't seen this, I definitely recommend you seeing it. Obviously, if it's my favorite movie of the year. And that is Hereditary on 4K. And this last one is one that I know nothing about. But I've been seeing, it's got certified fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. And that really never happens with IFC Midnight titles. Um, I want to say that this is an anthology. It's from IFC Midnight. Uh, what year was this? 2017. That is Ghost Stories with the slipcover. Um, I've heard great things about it, man. Uh, Andy Nyman, Paul Whitehouse, uh, Martin Freeman, and Alex Lothar. Um, it says, experience three spine-tingling tales of terror to haunt your dreams. A debunker of all things paranormal, Professor Goodman has devoted his life to exposing phony physics and tra uh, fraudulent supernatural shenanigans. Um... So yeah, look forward to checking it out, man. It's an anthology. It just released today from Scream Factory and IFC Midnight. Definitely want to check this out. Obviously, I bought it. So we're going to open the rest of these. We'll, you know how we do. We might as well. We'll go ahead and crack these bitches open and see if, see what, you know, show the disc art and all that good stuff. Might as well, right? I'm about to have to go to work, but fuck it. You know what I'm talking about? Um... And it's got an alternate artwork. <laughs> I don't know why that. I just like making that. I just like being an idiot. I mean, there's just, why not? You only get to live one time. Be an idiot while you're here. That awesome alternate artwork there on Ghost Stories. So yeah, man, look forward to checking this out. I'm gonna check on IMDb and see if this actually was released. It says 2017, but it just came out this year. So. Maybe this will be one I can add to my 2018 watch list, you know, as far as, like, what I've seen, so. Um, and Hereditary, I mean, I'm, golly, I'm super hyped about that. Look forward to watching it on 4K, you know. Because I saw it with Ivy on one of our movie pass manias, and then me and Jordan and Tony saw it when we went to, to Bowling Green in a shitty theater, but... I'm spoiled. I'm used to the reclining seats at Regal. By the way, yesterday, we didn't do a video, but me and Ivy went and saw Searching. Amazing movie. Really, really liked it. It's definitely one that's going to be a day one purchase. And, of course, there's just your standard disc there on Hereditary. But super glad that one's here. And uh, Searching was really good, man. Great suspense thriller. Um, I thought they did a great job with it. It's, a, it's from Sony, so I'm assuming it's not going to get 4K at first. It'll probably get like Blu-ray only, which is fine. And then there's Species 3 and The Awakening. Uh, but yeah, I got everything's pretty much came in now for what I've ordered over the last week and a half or so. Now I'm just waiting. There's Ghoulies 1 and 2. They're on the same disc. Um, now I'm just waiting on make it, placing one, one more order on Friday, probably. And um, we're going to get this shit cracking, baby. You know what's on that? There's Curse 1 and 2. Discard there. And the Hallow. Like I said, the Hallow is a good one, man. If you're a fan of Creature features, I mean, definitely would suggest the Hallow. And then it, you know, it's got the the disc art from the from the slipcover on it there. And Stigmata is the last one. Shout out to Bob Ross, man. You've been holding it down already, bud. You've already done earned your keep. Oh Bob. R.I.P. man. R.I.P. R.I.P. Shout out to young Jeezy. I know he's watching this. 
And there's alternate artwork there that looks pretty terrible, to be honest. So we're just gonna leave that how it is. So yeah, nice little haul today, baby. Um, did the damn thing. One, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven pickups, including the, the Funko. So, yeah, y'all be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're putting out consistent content on a daily basis, whether it's Madden content, Screen Factory content. We're going to keep this thing moving. We're trying to get to 6,000 subs. We're on the way. We're like 5,900 and change right now. So, thank y'all so much for all the continued support. I love the motherfucking shit out of y'all. Love, peace, and hair grease, baby. Ooh.